Russia is discovering what Ukraine learned last year, attacking defended positions on a modern battlefield where every move is documented by drones is hard. This video shows the combined efforts of Ukraine's 14th and 30th mechanized brigades against a recent Russian advance near a small village called Sinkivka in northeast Ukraine. The Russians attacked with infantry and four armored vehicles, two tanks and two infantry fighting vehicles, which Russia calls BMPs. <laughs> It looks like the first tank, which is equipped with mine clearing equipment, hits a mine and stops dead in its tracks. The rear vehicle falls prey to an anti-tank guided missile, boxing in the others and making them easy targets for drones. The Russian soldiers riding in and on the vehicles flee for cover in what's left of a nearby tree stand. The two drivers of the remaining vehicles try and maneuver around the burning and disabled ones next to them, but they each run over anti-tank mines. As a final layer of defense, the Ukrainians unleash steel rain on the Russians from above in the form of cluster munitions. The battalion commander overseeing Ukraine's defenses in the region told the Wall Street Journal his soldiers were prepared for the attack since they've been fending off similar strikes on a near daily basis since last fall. That's when Ukraine's counteroffensive faltered and Russia began to press the attack once again. The front lines in Ukraine haven't changed much in the last year of fighting, though. Ukraine's donated Western weapons are proving superior to Russia's, but Russia's war machine is huge, far bigger than anything Ukraine can muster. Based on current trajectories, with Ukraine running out of ammunition, soldiers, and supplies, some analysts say Russia can essentially afford to grind down Ukraine's defenses, even if it takes years and costs a few hundred thousand more lives. That's why Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky and his government are working feverishly to secure more Western aid, which means fixing the homegrown problems plaguing their war effort, like internal corruption. Ukraine's security service says it discovered a plot by current and former high-ranking officials in the Ministry of Defense who were working with managers at Lviv Arsenal to embezzle around $40 million. The security service says a contract for 100,000 mortar shells was paid, but no shells were delivered. Five people are under investigation in the scheme. While the struggle to secure future aid continues, Ukraine is taking possession of items previously promised. Ukrainian media reports show M60 Armored Vehicle Launched Bridges, or AVLBs, are now in Ukraine and are being used by the 5th Separate Tank Brigade. AVLBs can deploy 60-foot scissor bridges, which can support up to 72 tons. That's enough for an Abrams tank. The AVLBs can be used in essentially leapfrog maneuvers, meaning once they deploy the bridge, tanks and IFVs cross first, then the M60 crosses, packs up the bridge, and moves it to the next crossing. If a tank brigade is running with a few AVLBs, the advance can progress that much quicker. The U.S. sent around 20 AVLBs to Ukraine, and they could be used to gain ground in several areas along the front line, like the left bank of the Dnipro River, where Ukraine established a beachhead late last year.